My next guest this morning, he has been everything from an author to a writer, director, producer, and I'm just naming some of his accomplishments. Now, he is one of the authors that you'll find published through absolutely amazing ebooks. His book is entitled Below Mile Zero, a novel of Key West. Now, this is much more than just an engaging story set in an electric island. Brooke, thank you so much for being here with My me today. My sincere pleasure. <laughs> All right, Brooke, I have to ask everybody this question. How did you end up in Key West? I took a wrong turn at the end of the highway. Um, I was coming from New Orleans where it had a particularly, what would you call it, esoteric or exotic experience of having a sequence of dreams where I was going to be murdered and left lying in an alley. And a friend that I was about to go into business with said, you need to leave tonight. Do not stay another night in New Orleans. And I left. I was always curious about architecture, and I wanted to see the trompe uh, architecture and the uh, sketch works on uh, uh, Miami Beach. And, uh, you know, the, so I took a wander in that direction. Next thing I knew, I saw a sign that said Homestead in Key Largo. Uh, the former I'd never heard of. The latter was a fairly good movie with Bogey and... Uh, uh, Edward G. Robinson, so why not? And I left the island for the first time seven years later. Here you are, <laughs> <laughs> right? So you left the island, said, I'm never returning. And exactly. Here and you are. <laughs> yeah, I've actually left the island twice forever, which mm -hmm. shows about commitment. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's okay. And it's just, it's so interesting to me. Everybody has a story as to how they found their way down here. And yours is, is very unique, Brooke. I haven't heard that one before. So you followed your dreams, I guess. <laughs> right. Now, below mile zero. This actually tells a little bit about your experience to moving to Key West. Very much so. And a lot of the adventures uh, that happen to the uh, protagonist and some of the ancillary characters in there um, I did experience uh, while working in uh, marine salvage and shipping and uh, such things, um, transporting custom seas drug boats for, uh, from here up to Green Cove Springs, um, uh, contractor, just an amazing array of experiences. And they're all virtually available for anyone that comes here that wants to put aside convention and think outside the box. Mm -hmm. uh, at the opening, um, the acknowledgments, I call Key West a place where the dreams can come true. And they can. Mm -hmm. And you share that. You share <laughs> that in the novel. And, and so then people can, I feel like they can get inspired through your book, Brooke. Many have written that they do. They, uh, they actually fa find themselves falling into the role of the protagonist. And intentionally, I leave the descriptions of the characters as quite minimal. And that's intentionally. Uh, also, the, the uh, protagonist is never given a name. Mm -hmm. So people have asked me, well, what was his name? I honestly don't know. <laughs> I, I like to have people fit themselves into the role as the movie starts to unfurl in their heads as they read. That's the magic of reading, mm -hmm. of having the, the pictures become real and having the experience become more than vicarious, but a personal um, involvement with the story itself. The, um, the ancient storytellers, before there was a written history in the marketplaces, in the Plains Indians, before they began a story, uh, they would tell their listeners, from stories we learn how to live, so that when we find ourselves into a scenario that's very similar to the characters in, in one of the legends, we have a better understanding as to the consequences and the potential for behaviors. Uh, and I think that kind of education was intentional. Um, the uh, Hero with a Thousand Faces uh, talks about all the legends around the world. And, um, and it's true. They, they are pretty much a um, um, composite of all the human personalities. Mm -hmm. Brooke, I like your writing style. I like it a lot. I, I really yeah. do. I, I've been enjoying reading little paragraphs and chapters from the book. You do a great, great job. Now, I mentioned that you kind of had a, a second life, or, or this is now your second life. And at one time, <laughs> you were in the television industry, Brooke. Yes. Why yes, did I you was. get out? Uh, I had the 
regrettable experience to be in Union City, South Carolina for the Susan Smith um, murder extravaganza that at that point was competing uh, with OJ on the West Coast for media share. And I was uh, a contractor in, in the field and I worked for uh, Povich and Current Affairs and Hard Copy and a lot of others. And at the end of a particularly regrettable day where I was holding a camera and asking people, well, what kind of person was she really? You know, digging the dirt. I looked in the mirror at myself in the hotel room that night and I didn't like what I saw. And in that moment, I saw what I would become if I didn't change. And I called up the contracting firm that I worked with, uh, placements, and um, I said, when the seven days term of this agreement is over, I am not coming back. Mm -hmm. And I had no idea what I was going to do next. Mm -hmm. And I've never felt so free. Mm -hmm. It was wonderful. And are you happy with the decision that you made that day? <laughs> you still feel that free? I don't think I've, uh, I don't think I've, I've regretted that for a moment. Wonderful. Life continues to be just splendid. Mm -hmm. And uh, down here in Key West, as I mentioned earlier, the place where dreams can happen, I meet the former publisher of Marvel Comics, uh, Cheryl Rhodes, who starts an e-book publishing company that you mentioned at the outset, absolutely amazing e-books, picked up my work, is not only with the novel, but he's also promoting my screenplays. And we I've be never happier. felt luckier. <laughs> I've never felt more fortunate and more blessed. You, you are very blessed, Brooke. And people can hear about your adventures <laughs> in your book, Below Mile Zero, a novel of Key West. And for more information on Absolutely Amazing eBooks, just check out absolutelyamazingebooks.com. Brooke, thank you so much for being here with me this morning. S sincere pleasure. It's been a pleasure talking with you. I'm going to take a quick break right now, but I'll be right back after these messages. There's more to come. Stay with me.